What's up, Odd Squad? Welcome to the Polka Lab. It is your host, yours truly, Nick at Nick. And thanks for stopping by the Polka Lab and hanging out here at the Odd Oddish. I am so grateful and humbled to have you guys here. And I'll get right to it. For your guys' viewing pleasure, we're going to crack open some beloved sets. And we are on a hunt. As usual, the same hunt, a Charizard hunt. And I have yet to pull this Charizard. We are looking for a Charizard GX from Burning Shadows. And I have us an Elite TV, which you can find in retail at Target sometimes right now. And also, of course, for the Holy Grail, the shiny Charizard GX from Hidden Fates. We are on the pursuit. And the challenge that we are doing, guys, it is the very challenging, brought to you by Hidden Fates, challenging shiny chase card challenge. So... Without further ado, you know what I, you know what we say. Let's get cracking, folks. All right, where should we start first? Should we start the Burning Shadows? Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, if I can find my knife. Here we go. Cut open into this bad boy right here. Don't cut towards yourself, folks. Kind of like I just did. <laughs> All right, let's slide this puppy out. All right, and if in case you guys haven't seen a Burning Shadow ETB, here you go. You get the little book with information and the set checklist, which is always helpful. And what we are looking for, there it is, baby. You already know, folks, Charizard GX, there's that. Then you have, open the box. Beautiful Necrozma artwork. You have the sleeves. And you have the... Uh, energies, you have the card dividers, which come in handy for how I so store my cars, cards in bulk, I'll have to show you guys sometimes, and you have, of course, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 packs, dice, GX, and the condition counters, whatever they're called, you know what I mean. Alright guys, let's get this out of here and put this to the side. It takes up a lot of space, right? All right, I can just balance that there nicely. Okay, folks, and we have our eight packs, baby. I'm very excited for this. Burning Shadows is, whew, it's a rough set, guys. I'm sure you guys know if you're here now, and that's why you're watching to see if it's really just you that has that bad of luck, or if the set is just that hard. And the answer is, the set is just that brutal. I heard somebody call it brutal shadows on a. Brutal Shadows, Shadows on a Pokey Rev Live. But with, let's do it, folks. We got the Marsh Shadow Pack here. Set that there off to the side nicely. Oh, Pikachu, we love you. We love you. One, two, three, four to the front. Flip it around. And we're, oh, no way. Dude, we have the Error Upside Down Metal Energy, dude. Sick. Wait, I was just joking. It really was upside down. Interesting. We have Olivia. Kiawe. Por Porygon. Not one, not three, but two. Pikachu, we love you. You can go sit down there and hang out with Oddish and Nickit. We have Panseer. Charmander, you know what we say. Where's your daddy? Alolan Rattata. Porygon. Deontay. Reverse Hollow Rare. And a Alolan Raticate. Non Hollow Rare. And put that there because it is a reverse hollow rare nothing too special just it's like uh you know for emergencies if if it all goes bad and really bad all right guys here we go ho ho pack ho oh, oh where'd you go bring charizard though yeah, folks here's a code card for y'all enjoy that because you guys are the best and i'm very thankful and humbled to have you here and i thank you and just want to show my appreciation Another upside down energy. Are these any of these like real errors? <laughs> That'd be crazy. We have Cedra. Bodybuilding dumbbells. <laughs> okay. Acerola. Duskull. Morlol. Caterpie. Meryl. Rhyhorn. Alolan Vulpix Reverse Hollow Common. And a Bruxish non hollow rare. Alright, guys. That pack was a. That pack was a failure. What can we. 
Can we start bringing some luck here? Can we start bringing some fire, guys? Can we do it? This is Burning Shadows, a set of fire, and we shall be able to bring a code card, folks, because I appreciate you for stopping by. And we have another upside down energy. Is that an error? No. <laughs> I usually joke saying, oh, we got an error upside down energy. Charmeleon, where's your daddy, you mischievous little guy? Bullet Fun, Togedemaru, Wimpod, Meow, Magikarp, Krogunk, Reverse Hollow Pampor coming, and hey, there we go. Alolan Muck, GX, just a regular GX. Not the full art or anything fancy like that, unfortunately, but that's okay, guys. We're only, what, three packs in, still have five to go? I love the Alola Muck, though, dude. It looks so cool. How did they, they, I don't know how they did it, but they figured out how to take Muck and make them pretty, pretty darn neat. Now, the full art of that card is a beaut. It's your beauty, guys. It's your beauty. Code card. We have one, two, three, four to the front. Flip it around. We're going to start off with another, dude, upside down air fire energy. Crazy. Wick. Thick wick. <laughs> Shout out to Max Mofo, Lunatone, Gloom. Noibet, Stuffle, Mudbray, Tynamo, whoa, 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 dude, Oddish, what's up, homie? You can come join the Hit Squad, because we love you here at the Odd Oddish. We're all about you. Another Reverse Hollow Rare, and a Noivern GX, regular GX hit. All right, guys, I mean, it, it, it could be worse. I wish we were pulling better than just standard GXs, but... We'll take what we can get. Uh, these boxes, they're 40 bucks for the Elite Trainer box, if you can find them at retail level. And I've even seen some targets have them reduced to $35. Now, I have probably at least 15 of these in stock. Code, code card. I have at least 15 of them in my personal collection, and I've been cracking them slowly in pursuit of the Charizard GX. Um, I'm hoping I can pull it so I can just save some and hold them, because I do also like collecting sealed product, too. Pikachu, we love you! I do like collecting sealed product as well. Charmander, what are we going to say? Where's your daddy? Alolan Rattata. Seedra Reverse Hollow and Common and a Meow Stick Non Hollow Rare. Wah, wah, wah. And let's see what we got next. Marshadow Pack. Marshadow, bring us some luck, man. Come on, dude. Give me something with texture. Give me something with texture, please. Please, please, please. Pretty please. With cherries on top. Please, 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 with lumberries on top. Please, please, please. One, two, three, four to the front. Flipper around. We have another uh, error upside down. Fighting energy. Simiseer. Mount Linicala. Noctowl. Noibet. Lolan Grimer. Riolu. Cutie Fly. Dew Potter. Krogunk Reverse Hollow Common. And a Lycan Rock Hollow Hit. All right. It's a cool card, but not the card I'm looking for. But again. We'll take it. This is a pretty sick card, folks. If you haven't seen it, look at that background. Pretty dope. All right, guys. We're getting to the end of the Burning Shadows. Here we have... Ho, oh, you know. You know. It's ho, oh, yo. Whoa. Hopefully I can pull something, though. Bro, help me, ho, oh. Whoa. Upside down air metal energy Sophocles Ribombi Wishful Baton Porygon Pin Bore Pan Sage Pan Seer Pan what it socks Can we get a oh a Lolan Rachiru reverse hello rare and a Tang Growth Not digging you right now Tang Growth you're not my friend I thought we was like this, and lately we've been feeling like that. You know what I mean? Tang growth when you pop up all of a sudden, unannounced like that. And you don't bring your friends like Charizard. We got us a problem, bro. We got us a problem. Last code card, folks. Enjoy that, because you guys are the best. And we have another Air Energy Upside Down. Darkness Energy. Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Ah, okay, workout for the day. Acerola, Dusclops, Sendigust, Venipede, Sneasel the Weasel, Alolan Vulpix, Horsey, 
a reverse hollow mudsdale rare and a turtonator non hollow rare a turtonator but we look at we did i mean technically you get like seven hits we got the two gx's the lichen rock hollow and four reverse hollow rares so i mean that's kind of neat but here we go guys the holy grail the enchilada the most beloved the highly anticipated the most wanted the hardest to find hidden fates coming your way with the charizard pack Look, it's jumping out because it just wants to bring us its its other its its cousin, the leader, the Charizard GX. We'll set that right there, folks. Centering's a little off on that, so I don't know how uh, how good that'll that'll grade. That'll probably just go in the binder. Here you go, guys. If you guys want that Charizard GX in battle, let's see it again. Yeah, look how thick that is there, and there's almost hardly any line on this side. Top to bottom looks all right. And yeah, and the, the back reflects what you see on the front, but whatevs. Whatevs, dude, whatevs. Get some of these puppies out. It looks pretty fly in a binder, though. And I just have a lot of them, so I do. I did pull quite a few where I think they have a very good uh, chance at a PSA 10. So that's, that's always nice. All right, guys, we have the Hidden Fates code card. And then we have one, two, three, four to the front. And then the signature patent pending copyrighted Hidden Fates pack trick. All right, folks, there it is. Are you ready? We have, us a Grass Energy, Giovanni's Exile, Brock's Peter City Gym, Koga's Trap, Clefairy, Magikarp, Ekans, or Snake Backwards, Tortured Voltorb. Dude, dude. Mr. Mime in the rare slot and in the shiny slot. There we go, folks. A shiny goodbye. Yes, dude. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let me see. Where's my Hidden Fates bulk pile here? Where is it? There it is. There we go, folks. That's nice. I'll take that. I will take that. Let me pull out a nice GameStop sleeve. Check this out, folks. I like these for a lot of my, uh, you know, better cards. They fit so perfectly. Look at that nice fit. And they're thick. You can just feel out their quality. You can pick them up for only $1.99 for $102. An odd, strange number, but I think they're definitely worth it for some of your pulls. And then you can just use your regular, you know, actual penny sleeves for all everything else. That's what I recommend anyways. I was thinking I want to do a video and go through some of my collection and show how I store my cards. And just to show you guys, um, in my opinion, I think, you know, the way I store them and the binders I use, stuff like that, I think are the best. But I'd love to hear if you guys have any other suggestions or you guys do something else um, that's better than what I do. Then I would, I would love to see that just to preserve the, you know, preserve my cards, of course. All right, guys, there was a signature patent pen and hidden fates pack trick. And we're going to start off with a fairy energy. Misty, Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Ekans, Kafifi. What are you doing? Looking suspect with a lot of smoke in the background. Cubone, Jude, dude. Slowpoke, and a Jesse and James. Hey, dude, I love this card. I really do love this card. <laughs> it's funny because uh, I bought it on eBay or Mercari. And then very shortly after I purchased it singly, it wasn't much, probably 10 bucks or something, I pulled it in a pack. And I have quite a few, but I love them. This is just a great portrait of Jesse and James. I wish they made this a jumbo card. And guys, in the shiny slot, we have a Jiggly. We got a Jiggly. But that's okay, because we got this Jesse and James, in which I... Looks really good, actually. The top is thin, but I think that that's because of that trainer bar right there. And oh boy, look at that. Dude, that's flawless, dude. This is going to be going in to the PSA Grade Ready Collection Box, which are cards that I've already inspected and that I put aside for the next PSA shipment so I don't have to go through completely everything. Sorry, Oddish, dude. I gotta just, I gotta do that for a second. Alright, guys, we have a Mewtwo pack. This is the third of four packs. 
And then we'll see how our hits, how we end up, folks. Whoa, 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 don't do that. Code card, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you didn't see anything. I don't know. Never make... Didn't mean the cards get all loose there. All right, guys, and the signature patent pet and hidden face pack trick. And we're going to start off with a fairy energy. Sabrina's suggestion. I'll give you a suggestion. Give me a Charizard. Scyther, awesome artwork. Ekans, snake backwards. Eevee, Eevee. Pikachu, we love you. Come join the gang. Clefairy, Jiggly. Mewtwo GX, baby. There we go. That's not too shabby. Centering's looking decent on there. And in the shiny slots, Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Uncommon. That's okay. That's okay. I'll take this Mewtwo, bro. And, man, it's looking nice, folks. Look at the centering on that. I don't know what these are going for, but if it's a, you know, if it's a 10, I think it's worth grading almost no matter what it is. Obviously, take commons into consideration, stuff like that, but... You know your hollow hits, and it is Mewtwo. And personally, myself, I am a collector of Mew and Mewtwo and Charizard. Those are mainly my top threes. Here, before I get into that, let me just show you a little. Some of the cards that I like a lot. We got that guy there. Test two Mewtwo. Just because I got him here, so I'll show you folks. Um... Yeah, these these ones I picked up. Let's see. So, those guys. That guy. Yep, that should do it. But yeah, these are some of the the Mews I like a lot that I've picked up. Most of these I I, I went out and bought online on Mercari or eBay, places of such. Actually, this one I pulled myself, and I have three to five of these boxes, but I wanted to open them. Because I want to get the Armored Mewtwo's and the Charizard's out of them. So that'll be coming up, folks. Let me know if you want to see that. Then I have the Mewtwo EX from the E-Series. Love this card. It's beautiful. want to send that in for grading. I have this Mew promo. Japanese. And then this Mew EX. Look at that. It is beautiful. I love the silver borders. And then that Mew from... But look at these two together, guys. Isn't it a beautiful thing? Alright, let's proceed. Just wanted to show you guys some sick cards, in my opinion. Any chance I get to show off some cards in my collection, you know. That's why I bought them and probably paid decent money for them. The Mewtwo, I think I paid somewhere between 30 and 50 bucks. For some reason, I think it's closer to 50 Alright guys, we have a Fighting Energy. And this is the last pack here. Jinx, don't jinx us, Charmeleon. Where's your daddy? Caterpie. Pettis. Charmander. Where's your daddy? Clefairy. Clefairy. Slowpoke. Zapdos in the rare slot. And do we have anything in the shiny slot? Folks! Didn't we just pull a Clefairy? We sure did. I thought we did. Alright, and there you have it. Oh, hello, Zapdos. Okay. Let's get these hits up here. And analyze. Analyze the hits. All right, so I have a total. I'm holding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards, right? And the buy cost of this particular box was $20 because I found the Hidden Fates at retail and $40 for the Burning Shadows ETB, which is a total cost of $60. And let's see if we got $60 worth. So we got this Jesse and James, but I think it uh, has a very, very, very good shot at a PSA 10. This Mewtwo GX, I think, has a very good shot at a PSA 10. So I'm going to set that there on the top loader. That's going to go on the box. Like in Rock Hollow. Goodbye. Looks very nice and centered and everything. I don't know what it's going for. If it's a card, I would grade right away or just add to my shiny collection if I need it. Then we have Zapdos Hollow. We have the Lola Muck from Burning Shadows GX. Noivern. Noivern GX from Burning Shadows. And the Charizard GX promo. Which is definitely off center and will probably just go and reside in my binder for now. I mean, the back don't look horrible though. I was looking at some cards on eBay today and just comparing their centering to some of my cards, seeing what you know actually gets tens. And there was actually a lot of cards that were off center that did get tens. So and also, folks, on top of those, we did get four reverse hollow rares. We got the Mudsdale, the Raichu, the Shin Tonic. And the Deontay. So what do you think, folks? You think this is $60 worth of cards? 
I don't, I personally don't think we did too bad. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, the Jesse and James, I just, I personally love that card and the Mewtwo GX. I mean, I'm guessing, I'm just guessing off the top of my head, folks. My prices are usually very vague if you hear me talk about them, just FYI. Just how my head, uh, you know, conceives it or thinks about it. I'm guessing it's probably at least around a $100 card if it's a 10, you know. It's Mewtwo, and if not, I would just hold it till it is. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, folks, but well, there you have it. Thank you so much for stopping by here at the Odd Oddish and hanging out with your host, yours truly, Nick and Nick, in the Poke Lab. I appreciate you so much. You guys are the best, and I, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you and turn notifications on so you get notified when I release more videos like this and crack awesome cards here in the Odd Oddish. I got Burning Shadows, Shining Legends, Unbroken Bonds, Ultra Prism, and of course, a ton of Hidden Fates, folks, and that'll all be coming up. So please, tune in next time, the Odd Oddish. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. And please, on your way out, give it a thumbs up. Why? Because that's just easy to do, and I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps out with all that social media mumbo-jumbo. Thank you so much, folks. This is Nick and Nick, signing out. Peace.